Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Second upload of the day, but I needed to get you guys this information. When to buy Scream cards. They go out of packs this Sunday at 6 p.m. UK. So they're in basically, they're in, they're in packs for one day and one more hour from the time that I'm recording this video. So Sunday, 6 p.m. UK, they're gonna be going out of packs almost 24 hours from now and that means we need to look at taking a um kind of a gander at are these cards going to be viable out of packs that's the first thing that i want to say are these cards going to rise out of packs are people using them in their weekend league teams are these cards quality enough to be rising out of packs and to that i say absolutely yes we've already witnessed it with this scream team one when it went out of packs the first time after it was in packs uh, the first week, a lot of those cards rose pretty significantly in the next week before they came back into packs. Guys like Bernard, guys like Deli Ali, Ro Magnoli. I mean, half of this team rose almost, you know, 10 to 15% on some cards because they're just good, hyped up. And at this stage of the game, a lot of these cards are very usable for people in FIFA Ultimate Team. So again, these cards are in packs for another day. I'm really wanting to see what happens with the pack supply today. This is the biggest question still that we have in terms of when is the absolute best buy time for the Scream cards today. Because if we get more pack SBCs today on Saturday or something like a guaranteed Scream SBC, that's why I'm not advising you guys to buy before. I'm going to wait and see what happens today at 6 p.m. UK just in case because EA drops a lot of stuff on content days now, especially during this promo. We've seen a lot of SBCs. So if we get pack SBCs today, that could be a very good time to start monitoring these cards as well. I've been watching these cards all weekend. Some of them have started to come down, like a post weekend league sell off already happening earlier on Saturday. So I'm kind of watching this stuff. Um, and I want to go through a few of these cards that I think are going to be the best risers out of packs and when we're going to kind of watch uh, these cards as they um, are going to be investable. So Bernard right here is probably one of my favorites, a left mid Brazilian, very, very good stats, 197K. So he's down a decent amount. If you look at, if we look at his hourly graph, 200K, he's dropped around 10,000 coins in the past couple hours. Yesterday, he was over 210 for a little bit. And then on Thursday, when he first came back into packs, he was around 200. He dipped to 192, but he actually was in the 180s for a little bit there. Uh, if you guys remember when these came back into packs on Thursday. So, but all, we do all remember this. They went out of packs on the 25th. He was 190K, shot up to 216. I could definitely see his card going back up above 200,000 coins, um, maybe like a 215, 220 kind of situation in the next week. Honestly, in the next week after this Ultimate Screen promo is over. A couple other cards from the first set of players that I really think are going to do very well out of packs. Roll Magnolia is going to do well. Deli Ali is going to do well. Odomendi is going to do very well. And I think that Hamas Rodriguez is going to do pretty good as well. One thing that we have to kind of consider is everybody's doing this PK SBC. So um, I think there's an increased demand for La Liga players because people are doing this PK. You know, maybe they have like a right side or a left side with La Liga players. Um, and there aren't a ton of players that directly link to PK. Um, in this ultimate screen promo, but we do have a couple La Liga players that you've seen even rise in price like Trippier uh, from the second team. Trippier's card rose in price. I had him already selected there. Let me search him again. Uh, Kieran Trippier was around uh, Thursday before the PK SBC came out. He was like 50,000 coins. Right now he's up almost like 10K, a little over 10K from where he was at his lowest point. He is low rated though. Um, but there's not, you know, if you're going for a right back in La Liga, you have Carvajal, you have Semedo, and you have Trippier. And Trippier can give you some different links because he is French, or excuse me, he's not French, he's English. Um, so you could link into like a Sancho, a Sterling, a Theo Walcott flashback. So it gives you a lot of options, and it's a green link to that new Saul card. I'm kind of a fan of Trippier. I really am a fan of this card out of packs. If you see him down to low 60s later tonight, that's when I would say that's the pull the trigger price. Low 60s on PlayStation um, for that card right there it would be a very good price in my opinion. Uh, I think he's going to do pretty well out of packs because outside fullbacks, um, you know, people are always looking for specials in those categories and those positions uh, because using the gold guys, you know, some of the gold outside backs are not the best until we get some informs on them. I love Lack Salt. Lack Salt for me, uh, I think is going to be a very good riser out of packs. He's actually inflated right now. If we go and take a look at Scream Team 2, 
He's over here at 30,000 coins. Um, on Xbox, If you, they're basically the same price on PlayStation and Xbox. Um, you're going to want to find this guy on the low 20s as well. You saw that yesterday he was around 26, 25,000 coins with the pack supply yesterday at 6 p.m. UK. A couple hours after that with the relist, he got down to 24K. If you see him at like 22, 23, that's a big time buy in my opinion, especially on a lower budget. Um, that's a great card to buy. Even Medell, like lower 20s, maybe 22, 23,000 coins. Uh, that's going to be a, a pretty solid card to pick up as well. But some of these other cards from Scream Team 2, Adama, I'm a pretty big fan of Adama just because he's so hyped up. Um, I think that it's crazy that this card is 290, almost 300,000 coins with a two-star weak foot and all he has is pace. Um, so, But it's obvious that people are still uh, using this card and they want to uh, put this card on their teams. He fluctuates like crazy, 280, all the way up to 300 in a span of like, you know, a day's period on uh, yesterday. He was 320. 274 when he came back into packs on Thursday or when he was packed a lot on Thursday. So that tells me this card gets packed a lot because of the silver uh, base card. His pack weight's just more. So if it, that's something that we see today, he's going to have more supply on the market. Maybe he could drop a little bit further before he goes out of packs with a, more of a sell-off. Stuff like that is something to keep in mind with a card like that. And Signe is actually up a lot. Firmino, 678. If you see him around like 610, 600K flat, that's where I would like to find him. Honestly, this Aspas card is another one that I'm very interested in. He fits the meta, but he's only got a three-star weak foot. And he's not a player that, you know, you would think a ton of people would use, but check this out. He's in packs. The pack supply on Thursday, 90,000 coins. He dipped down there and look where he's at right now. He's up 20,000 coins. Uh, it's got to be just with the La Liga hype, you know, maybe people are playing a center attack in mid or maybe a right center mid to get some links um, in their in-game teams. But uh, that looks like a decent card, pretty good stats. But um, I'm honestly a little bit surprised that people are using that one. Um, but again, the ones you're going to want to focus on are going to be the Premier League, the La Liga, or just basically if you look at the Scream team, which cards when they moved last time, which cards look good? I mean, I think a lot of these cards are going to rise out of packs, basically all of them. But picking the best ones and getting the best return on your investment uh, is going to be the key for these cards. Since I think I think they're so rare in the market, um, you're just trying to pick the best one for the return on your investment, how many coins it's going to cost you to invest in that card, stuff like that. So again, I want to talk about the buy time on these cards. I mentioned waiting today for the 6 p.m. content on Saturday. That's going to be key because if we get more SBCs or a guaranteed Scream SBC, then you would see some big time market movements. If we get a guaranteed Scream SBC, the lowest time to buy a lot of these cards is probably going to be in the next hour or two after the content drop today when people are panic selling everything because they think they're going to pack that card in the SBC if that happens. Of course, we don't know what the SBC is going to be, what it's going to cost, what it will be rated, or even if it comes out honestly. So that'll be something to watch um, the prices when that happens. But again, I'm watching a lot of these cards and I'm thinking that tonight, midnight to like 5 a.m. UK, which is kind of the low dead times of the of the market. Honestly, for a lot of different card types, uh, that time in the uh, the weekends, Saturday nights from like midnight UK to 6, 7 a.m. UK has been the lowest time for cards on this game that are special cards. Usually the team of the week is cheapest in that time frame. I'm going to be looking at some team of the week cards. From this week's team of the week as well to possibly make an investment in saturday night because everybody now knows that sunday is the quote unquote lowest day so nobody's buying on saturday night when it technically is now the lowest people wake up on sunday oh they think it's the lowest day of the market they go and buy people are still selling off their cards then but it kind of levels out the market and doesn't let it keep going lower or as low as it was Saturday night. So watch these cards Saturday night. Watch the open bids if you really want to try to maximize the price that you would get for every single card. Really watch the bids on some of these. So go on Footbin, take a, take a look at some of the targets that you think you want to invest in, in terms of uh, which screen cards you think are going to rise the most. Or if you just want to make an investment for your team and put one of these in your team, Watch their prices on Saturday night, get in the open bids, um, and then I think that's going to be the lowest time of the market for these cards as people sell off their weekend league teams um, and as they wake up done with the weekend league and maybe they want to invest in these players on Sunday, we got to get ahead of them on Saturday and go for it because yes, they won't be out of packs yet, 
but they will be out of PAX on Sunday at 6 p.m. UK, and I don't see anything major happening after 6 p.m. UK today on Saturday and before uh, Sunday's content drop when these cards go out of PAX. So definitely keep an eye on that. I do think these cards are going to honestly be great investments out of PAX. That's why I'm making this video for you guys. I want you guys to know I think these cards are going to be great investments out of PAX because their pack weight is honestly just ridiculously low. I mean, every single pack that we've seen in the store, we've looked at this multiple times. I know there's no promo packs in the store right now, but literally every single promo pack that has been in here, except for a 50K, has been under 1% probability of packing a lot of these screen cards. And a lot of these cards are significantly more rare than even Team of the Week cards are. So that is... Uh, that's a plus, honestly, for us as investors, or if you want to stick one in your team, I think you're going to be able to stick it in your team, play with it for a couple of weeks, and get it out before we even have to start thinking about Black Friday, uh, market crash, downturns, stuff like that. So keep an eye on these screen players. Um, if you have any more questions, drop them in the comments down below. I'm going to be eyeing these players as well. Um, I'm specifically going to be eyeing uh, from, from my coin amount and how many coins that I have. I'm probably going to be looking in the lower the lower range of things, uh, maybe some Trippier, maybe some Black Salt. Um, just because I just have over a million coins uh, in total. So I am not going to be going in on guys like Otamendi or, or Bernard because, yes, they have good profits, but i got to be smart with my coin amount. And coin management is a very, very important factor on this game and trading in FIFA Ultimate Team. So if you have any questions, again, drop them down below in the comments. If you like this video, smash a thumbs up on it. And, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.